Heartland was, for me and my husband, we found some amazing communities. There's a group of women I just am in love with, um, but Heartland brought, brought us together. Um, same thing for my husband and his group of guys he's been with for 15 years at least. worked out for me. I was looking for daytime volunteering. Uh, we, they, at that time, they had, uh, had classes at the, the grade school for moms, for immigrant mothers. So that's how I got started. You know, if, you're, if your faith isn't active, if, if there's not action in your faith, then it's not growing. I, I kind of r really believe that. And so I thought, well, this is an opportunity to serve. My church supports it. It, it was an easy one to plug into, but it didn't take long. Um, being here to, to recognize God's at work here, the way the staff loves on this community, the way the staff loved on me, a volunteer, it, it, uh, it just was, a blessed thing. I will, there are still people in the community that I, I knew 10, 12 years ago, and their, their children were little babies, and now their children are coming up through LIT, and, and I don't quite connect it until I see the adult come to the LIT celebration. It's like, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Haven't seen you. Oh, that, that was the one that was this big back when we were. So that, that is, um, you, you make connections and, and you keep connections. They, they, they keep showing up. I know one of the barriers, people think, oh, I don't know Spanish, I don't know Bhutanese. You don't need to know any other language beside English. And they need a safe harbor. They need to be able to practice their English and not be made fun of and not be ridiculed because they pronounce something wrong. I see God at work in this place and, and, and I see God working on me through this place. And if you want to see and learn how to love like Jesus, come to Mission Adelante. <laughs>